Hi, it's um, today. I just wanted to look, do a quick review of our sofa. Um, the sofa came from a Love Company, which I fell in love as soon as I saw they designed. I thought the sofa looked so comfortable and well built. Unfortunately, I was not able to actually sit on one before we purchased it. So, I just thought uh, for everybody that is in a similar situation at the moment, I will just put a quick review. This one is a model pavilion, I think it is called, and we've had it for around two years now. Uh, the fabric on the sofa is a velvet version, which uh, hides a lot, a lot of marks and uh, scratches. But on top of that, um, the fabric is really easily washable. Any stain just comes off really easily, so I'm very pleased with that. Uh, regarding the actual sofa, the sofa just, the way you see it now, uh, all the cushions being puffed up and uh, relayed, so they're, nice, they're looking very nice and comfortable and uh, almost like a two big cloud. In a minute I'll show you um, what happens when you actually been sitting on them for, for a little bit. So just bear with me. So now the sofa has been sat on and jumped on for a little bit and as you can see the cushions, the bottom cushions are not in uh, such a good shape anymore. To be honest they've lately become very uncomfortable and for... I am a little bit gutted because of the, the price that the sofa cost, I was expecting a little bit more. On top of that, um, as you can see Pillows are filled with feathers, and the problem that we've got is continuously uh, little feathers popping up, popping through the cushions in a very random places. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find some more sticking up somewhere. Um, okay, let's go through the sofa bed option and let's see how that works. So I've now removed all of the pillows and we're ready to, to turn our sofa into a bed. So the half hour uh, bed is up and um, it's a really easy job to, to take it out. As, I, as you can see the support for half of the mattress is made of wooden planks which, uh, which was, I don't know, very appealing to me because it gives you an extra support. And the rest is made of... Uh, I don't know, black stripes, black stuff holding the mattress. Uh, let's fold it all up then. So that's it, our sofa bed is up. Uh, it's really easily done. I don't know, probably takes even less than a minute to, to put it all up. And even though it looks very well built, I'm not completely sure of the quality of the mattress that has been used in there. It's a very feels very cheap and very basic mattress with I'm not sure if you can hear it but there is you can feel most of the springs inside the mattress and as soon as you lie on it it just shrinks into barely any mattress underneath you and I'm not saying that we're very heavy but uh, I don't think it's the mattress could be a bit better I think all right, let's put it all back together. So there you go, the also fire has been put back together. It didn't take me long, around, I don't know, 40 seconds maybe, to get all back into sofa version. So, summarizing, would I buy another love sofa? Um, not sure. I think uh, they've got a great idea of making the cushions like filled up with feathers and and other ways of support. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work. Uh, it's like an old pillow that you, after some time, it loses the springiness. And I think that's what happened to our sofa. It just become very, very uncomfortable with a big hole in the middle where, as you could see, like, you know, a little bit of support, I think we've still got left on the sides, but the middle bit has gone all down. And then on top of that, um, feathers keep on, that 
keep on poking you everywhere, which is not ideal. All right, um, I hope it might help somebody, somebody that was not able to go and sit on, on the sofa like this in real life before purchasing it, because that was the situation I was in. All right, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.